Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Rogers Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, all of us are Kenyans. And uh, we have been in this country since William Ruto started campaigning. If I take you back first before I proceed to what I'm talking about today, we were treated to a lot of drama from the church. Why am I saying so? The church unanimously supported William Ruto's candidacy. They unanimously supported him. The bishops and pastors gave Ruto a platform in church to campaign to the congregants. This is something myself I opposed from the word go as losing respect to the church. If I recall very well, and those who have been following me, I sent a warning to the very same pastors and told them, you are supporting Ruto. It is about time you will start to cry because the person you think is of your character, amevaria ngozi ya kondo. Baka nikaimba, amevaria ngozi ya kondo. Amevali yango ziya kondo. Kumbe ndani ni umbo mwitu. Now. The pastors and bishops could meet in meetings under the leadership of Pastor Doricus and Mama Rachel. I am a journalist and I happen to attend a number of meetings as news coverage. They had one song. Ruto is our own pastor. Ruto is our own brother. Ruto ni damu yetu. Sisi ni pastor, Ruto ni pastor. Ruto ni mutu yetu. By all means, humanly possible, we will support him to status. I remember when William Ruto won an election. Those videos are still fresh online. Bishops and pastors flocked state house to install one of their own. Mutu yao. Wariambi watembea rakabashanda. Speak in tongues. Cleanse this state house. Shika makuta. Nini, this is now your home. Pray, pray, pray. And they were proud. They were saying, Sasa going forward. Mutu yetu. Ambaya natujari. Atakuwa kitusikia kama makanisa. Atakuwa kitusapoti kama makanisa. Mungu wa metuletea kiongozi wetu. Mungu wa meleta kiongozi muja mungu. Mungu wa meleta kiongozi ambaya haguzi pombe. Mungu ameleta kiongozi ambaye sigara hapana guza. Mungu ametuletea kiongozi ambaye amepatizwa kwa damu ya mwana kondoo na yeye ni mtu wa kwenda mbinguni straight. Mungu ndio alisema. The kind of drama we were treated into I was like wait a minute. I am a Christian yes. But I've seen another level of ignorance. Nikasikia wengine wakaanza kupiga mahesabu vile watakuwa na makrusad bila malipo. Eh? Nikasikia wengine wakasema vile wataanza kuhubiri injili bila malipo. Wait a minute. I'm giving you shock I'm, I'm, I am giving you shocking news. Na kupatia taarifa ya kutisha. Now. Do you know what? The church is now in tears. Kanisa linalia. Ma bishop wanaria. Kwa nini? Serikali ya Ruto imefanya jambo. When missionaries are coming to this country, they acquire a permit from the government that allows them 
to stay in this country while preaching. Do you know what the government has done? Previously, yule mtu walikuwa wanaita mlevi ambaye hakukuwa ameokoka uhuru Kenya of course. Yule mtu walikuwa wanasema hajaoshwa kwa damu ya mwana kondoo ambaye ni uhuru Kenyatta. Yule mtu walitusi wakasema alikuwa mulevi na Mungu amewapatia kiongozi ambaye anamucha Mungu. Wakati wa uhuru Kenyatta missionaries could pay for a permit at 15,000 Kenyan shillings. Shilingi 1015. But now to make the matters worse, the Kenya Kwanza regime has saved the government, a government led by Deputy Jesus Christ, a government that is covered by Angel Gabriels, a government that is guarded by the Holy Spirit, has increased the amount of evangelism from 15,000 Kenyan shillings and it has hiked that cash 10 times to 150,000. <laughs> Now, for missionaries to preach in this country, for missionaries to access government permits, one must cough 150,000 to the government they supported in 2022. Sasa wendi wameanza kusema fadhali mulevi. Hmm? Nimesikia mapasta wengine hapa wakisema afadhali mulevi. Nimesikia mabisha busi hapa nje wakisema ay ay kumbe e, afadhali yule mulevi wetu. Kwa nini? Mukristo mwenzao amewaweka katika mateso na majaribu. Mukristo wao ameanza kuuza injili. Mukristo waliye tarajia kwamba atawapatia free ground to spread the gospel. Now they are crying. Ngojeni bado. Ngojeni. Ile taxi kanisa itawekewa ndugu zanguni. Hapo sijui mtachificha wapi. Yenye subiri. It's a matter of time. Ile taxi makanisa mtawekewa mtalipa. Hey. I'm preparing you all in advance. Ni vizuri na msiseme mimi siku waonye. I have been warning you from the word go. Mukasema sisi tutakufa na Mkristo yetu. Sisi tunakufa na reverend wetu. Sisi tutakufa na bishop wetu. Haya. According to the bishops, they now say the move by the government to hack those permits 10 times is unethical and lack of gratitude by the same government they supported sasa wanasema ruto hana shukurani lack of gratitude wali muunga mkono hana shukurani wali mtetea hana shukurani wali mubeba kwa mapodium ya makanisa hana shukurani na huyo ni kiongozi walisema ni mtu yetu haki yetu mtu yetu wakaimba wakatumia kanisa la Mungu kueneza injili and i want to tell pastors and bishops the punishment that is awaiting you ndugu zanguni hamutawai imaliza ile ghadhabu ya Mungu inawasubiri hey nyenye ngojeni I am a Christian 100%. I believe in the word. I believe in Jesus Christ and I am saved. By the way, I am one of the board of deacons in one of the spiritual churches in this country. So I speak what I know. Zile vituko mlifanyia kanisa la Mungu. Ile ghadhabu inawangoja. Mutalia mutasaga meno mutapiga nduru but at the end the same individual you supported as a friend is 
the same individual who is going to turn against you. And I want, I, I don't want to lie to you. It will be messy with casualties. Kanisa zingine mutafunga. God bless you. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.